Hey guys, I'm here with another video, and it is the same day that I I just posted a video, but I'm gonna post this tomorrow because I'm bored, so I feel like making a video. Today I'm going to be making slime. Um, so I got contact solution for Christmas, and I have this tiny thing, so I'm going to make two slimes and put them in there because it's a bad idea, but. I figured they're containers, so why not? So I'm gonna go get this stuff out. Okay, well, um, these are the things I'm going to be using. I'm going to be making one white slime, a clear slime, and then I have my two activators here. I have some contact lens solution, and then here I have some borax. Um, I'm going to keep my um, white slime white and making my clear slime pink. And I have two glitters that I'm going to use. So, um, yeah. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing this, um, small is because I didn't have any containers. And then I was like, oh, this would work for, like, a small slime. But then I had this, and I was like, oh, I'll just make a big one. So I'm going to be making a big, um, white slime. So, now let's get on to it. So, first things first, we're going to be making our clear slime. Um, and for the clear, we're going to be, um, using... So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some clear in there. Um, not a lot because these things are really tiny. So now I'm going to add some pink coloring. I don't know if you can tell, but I only added like a really little bit. I'm going to add some pink coloring. Not too much, just a little. And then mix it in. I want it to be like, not such a dark pink, but like a like a princess pink, like that. That's good. Now I'm going to add some of these. I think I'm just gonna add the rest of them. Ugh. How do they expect me to get these jewels through these big holes? I mean, through these small holes. Like, <laughs> you think I'm a wizard? All right, let me get some in here. Well, I need to go to Michael's and get some more later. These are like sequins, like that sequences. Now I'm going to add some of this gold. Pretty gold flakes. Perfect. Now I'm going to mix this together. And it's really pretty actually. Now I have never used this um, for clear slime so I'm gonna see what it does. So I've heard that you have to use baking soda with it and I don't have any baking soda and this isn't working so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my borax and just put some in there and yeah borax always works for me. Um, some people are afraid of it like You'll get burns on your hand. I mean, like, some people do, but, like, you just gotta be careful with it. Like, like, don't eat it, and you'll be fine. Unless, like, you know you're allergic to something inside of it. Then, like, just don't touch it. Okay, so, anyway, um, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna keep mixing this up until it is slime, and then we can make our white slime. Right, so this still is a little sticky, but um, this is my pink slime. So now I am going to clean this up and work on my white slime. Okay, so I just put them in here, and they're cool. So now I'm going to um, get the things out that I need for my white slime. Okay, so I got a bigger bowl. Um... So, first, we are going to be adding some glue. So, I know the bowl is not clear. Like, it's, okay. You know what? I'm just going to use this bowl. Um, it's not very good either, but, um, yeah. So, I'm going to add a lot of glue. That's good. Um, yep. So, 
now I'm going to add some coloring. So, one second. All right, so um, I'm going to be adding some sky blue and some leaf green and making this a teal color. So for this, what you're going to do is you're going to want to add one drop of leaf green. Come on, get out. Oop, okay. And three drops of sky blue. Oh, come on, come out. Okay, one, two, okay, that's, that's around three. I'm just going to say, yep, okay. Mm -hmm. This is what happens to me. So, mm, okay. I'm going to get this thing. And, wait, I'm more, more okay. I was going to say I'm more worried about the color getting on my desk, but, um, Okay, one second, please. Okay, well, this is what has to happen to me. Um, so, I'm gonna go clean this up now. Well, see, Mom, if you're watching, I try to clean up my desk. So, if you come back and my desk is a little funky, um, that's why. So, um, this is what it looks like. Um, it is, like, I don't know what this is, but... I'm probably going to get in trouble for it, but mom, if you're watching, you know that it was an accident, so let's just be more cautious and all of the camera. This is what it looks like, so now I'm going to mix this together with my broken spoon. Um, so if you're wondering, um, yes, this would turn out dark, but since there is white, um, the colors will mix and it will turn a little lighter. Um, so I'm going to keep mixing this and I'll be back when it is all mixed. Alright, so this is what the color is. I think I'm going to add a little bit of white because this is a very dark color. So I'm going to add some more white in there. Mm. And stir this up. And hopefully this makes it a lighter color and I didn't just waste a bunch more blood. Oh, look at that. You can't really tell, but it's making it a lot lighter than it was. Thank the glue. Thank you, glue. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think I'm going to add something to this, but I don't know what I exactly want to add. Alright, so I'm going to just add a bunch of glitter. So I'm going to add this glitter, which is like a really pretty silver glitter. Just going to add a bunch of that in. I'm not going to add a lot of every type because I'm adding a lot. So then there's like this black stringy kind. Add some in there. That was a lot. Yeah, by the way, my hands. Um, yeah, I'm going to add the rest of the stars. And the rest of this white glitter. Gonna, uh, like that. And now I'm going to mix this together. Alright, so I just added some shaving gel and some dry conditioner. I don't know why, I just wanted to see what would happen. So... Um, I know what would happen with the shaving gel, but for the dry conditioner, I don't know. So, I'm going to add some borax solution and mix this together until it becomes slime. Alright, so this is the slime. Um, my desk kind of cleaned up a little. Um, I got food dye all over it. And I just took my slime once it was done and I played with it um, over top. And like kind of pressed it down and it picked it up. So now there's no food dye on my desk, but there's like a bunch of weird scratches, but I don't know what they're from. Like, it's really weird actually. 
So, anyway, this is a slime. It's still a little sticky. Um, so, I'm going to add a little bit. But, um, other from that, the slime, I think, is um, my new favorite slime. It's really pokey. And that dry conditioner, I don't know what it did to it, but, like, I like it a lot. So, I'm actually going to add a little and see what it does. So this is my dry conditioner. It squirts out like not dry though. It's more like like watered down conditioner in a bottle. Like that's what it feels like. So I'm going to need this in and tell you guys what the dry conditioner does. Um, so I'll be back. So I finished kneading it in and the conditioner makes it more like we're like stretchy and it kind of acts like baby oil and lotion. Like, it's stretchy, but then it's like silky too. So it's like, it's cool. Um, I think it's, um, something I'm going to add to my slime. So anyway, this is how it turned out. I like it a lot. Um, and... The glitter, you can really see. You can't really see the stars. Oh, oh, look, I made a bubble. You can't see that, but I did. Um, so you can't really see the stars. Or really anything else. Except for these black things. Well, you can kind of see the, like, the sequence things. But anyway, goodbye. I will see you tomorrow with another video.